So this video is going to be a quick, just a opinion piece on what was my favorite portable of last year, or 2019. Um, I saw a lot of other people were doing them, and I'm like, yeah, it's not the worst idea. Plus, I haven't been feeling so well. I have that wonderful uh, crud that's been going around. And decide, well, I'll do my opinion piece. And you'll probably already notice that I'm playing my Pocket Go, which I did a video on a couple months ago. This, I would say, is easily... That was horrible. Huh. This is easily my choice for the year. A uh, couple things I'm taking out of consideration. I'm not worrying about price, even though this was actually one of the more affordable uh, affordable units that came out on the market. Um, I am taking into consideration, what did I use? Uh, this one spent a lot of time in my backpack. If you actually saw the unit that I had that was just a bunch of like modded games, not even, I, mean, I don't want to say official release or not, just for the fact that uh, they were, they were official games, they just weren't that good of games, but um, I had the battery pack one, uh, that one actually traveled in my bag a lot too, but overall I, I'm a big R-Type fan, if you, if you watch my videos you probably know that because I talk about it a lot basically scroller type shooting games uh, not that you can tell right now a couple things that this had that I like that made it ideal for carrying along with me is the fact that uh, it's small it's a little bigger than the Game Boy Micro which I did compare that in size in that video um, and it does a really good job with the emulation that it does have uh, you'll see that you know it has the Game Boy uh, Game Boy Advance NES NES Master System, Game Gear, Mega Drive, Genesis, Atari 2600, Lynx. I, I have actually added no games to this. Oh, and it does do PS1. Uh, I don't like playing play, PlayStation 1 games on these kind of consoles because I like having the controls for the PlayStation 1, so I never really played much in there. But uh, other than that, I've actually been very happy with it. Uh, so. You'll see there's nothing in, like, the links there. Um, let's see here. Mega Drive. Mega Drive has a bunch of... Yeah, let's see if I can get it closer. And There we go. Uh, Mega Drive has a bunch of games in there. Uh, I did not add any of these. I, I didn't know it was coming with any games, but it did. And let's see here. Splatterhouse is on there. That was a, That's a great game. Uh, R-Type is what I was just playing. Let's see what else we got here. Neo Geo. Metal Slug is a classic, of course. But, um, yeah, like I said, I did not know it was coming on any of these games. It just did, and I haven't had to add any with it. Uh, as for charging it, it's never gone dead on me. I do pop it on a charger once in a while, just if I happen to have one around and I throw it on there. Uh, you'll see I got the SD card right there. That's the one it came with. Uh, if I pull that out, this does not function. But for all the games I played, I did not experience really any kind of lag, any issues with that. It's such a good shooting game. I mean, talk about a game that can really just suck quarters to dry on you. It's kind of weird not having the sound on. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, this has a, been a great unit. Uh, like I said, it's been in all my, uh, all my travels pretty much. Uh, whether I have the switch with me or not, I do carry. I do carry this one with. I really should have maybe hooked a capture device up to this uh, for filming, but uh, like I mentioned, maybe I didn't mention. That's how I know I'm not feeling the best. Uh, I haven't been feeling well. I have that nasty flu that's been going around. So this has actually been a nice little uh, companion piece just to have next to me too. I can lay down and play this. It was actually uh, kind of a lot of effort just to get the tripod set up to. To film this but uh yeah this is my choice for the 2019 uh the, it, by no means am i saying this was the best unit i know a lot of people like the rg50 out there personally i was not a big fan of it i did have an issue with mine as um as it will show in the videos i have for it uh my very well hated videos actually they uh i always appreciate the likes and the shares i get or even the comments i like i like the uh communication of what people thought of certain things but those videos, man, I touched a, I touched a spot with people on that. They were not fans of 
How did that guy not die? There we go. Um, yeah, people were not fans of my opinion on any of that. It was crazy. Um, I don't get a lot of likes or views or anything on them, but that one, insane. It was awesome. But yeah, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind knowing what yours was. There's a lot of handhelds out there that I don't own. I, I would always have my eyes open for uh, for new, newer consoles that maybe want to break the bank. I never modded my Nintendo DS. That's something I'm thinking of doing. So if you have any opinions on that, that'd be actually kind of nice to know where people lie on that. Um, or actually how easy it is. I mean, I know it's easy enough for me to look up, but um, it's always been one of my favorite ones where people are like, oh, look it up on Google. Well, someone had originally asked, someone had originally put it on Google. Other than that... Uh, like, share, leave a comment. Like I said, I do try to respond to all my comments. And this video is probably going to get one of those ones where someone says I'm boring, which I know I am. Uh, it's probably not helping that I'm actually playing the game more than I'm paying attention to talking. But, yeah, like I mentioned uh, a bunch of times already, this is, this is definitely probably my favorite console for 2019. And as you can see, it's pretty compact. Uh, didn't break the bank, and it plays what it does very well, uh, except for I will not make any comments for PlayStation 1, because like I said, I don't play them on here. If I'm going to play PlayStation 1, I'm going to have the actual, um, I'm going to have the actual controls for it. Uh, the RG50, I know people are like, oh, it plays, plays these games, it's great, you know, you have these controls. I, I didn't find it very comfortable on there either, I just, I really think you have to have play we don't have to. I just really think it's a lot easier to have the PlayStation 1 controls on there. Uh, looking forward to seeing what comes out. I think between things like the Pocket Go, the rumored Pocket Go 2, uh, maybe it's not even a rumor anymore. Maybe that thing is out by now. I haven't been paying attention to that. Uh, the RG350, um, all those kind of devices. I'm really looking forward to see what maybe comes out this year. I, I don't really foresee getting any... I could see N64 being better. Dolphin emulator, I don't know. That one's a little tougher, maybe. I don't know if we'll see that in 2020 uh, be up to snuff. But uh, I think it can be really good. Uh, we'll just have to see what comes out. But I am pretty uh, pretty excited to see uh, what comes out. Because I, I mentioned in previous uh, recordings, when it comes to mobile devices, I actually am going to slow down a little bit on it. Uh, I, I buy a lot of what's out there, and a lot of them just don't get played, and there's not a lot of point in it, owning them if they don't get played. But it, I'm hoping something like this comes out. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing maybe somewhere between the size of this and what the RG350 was, uh, even uh, maybe more of the size of like the Game Boy Advance. I really did like that size. But something like that, maybe that can handle up to all the emulators that are on here. I actually didn't mind this as a layout altogether. There was, of course stuff on here already like uh you know cave story digger was actually pretty good i did play doom and it wasn't horrible on here this could use maybe one analog stick and i know there are game consoles out there that are like that um the predecessor the rg350 things like that but i don't want to get much bigger than this so if i had to i would actually stick with the two shoulder buttons basically the snes or game boy advance uh mixture style layout would be uh be good for me um, and I say good for me because I know other people have different opinions on that. Uh, I do like that they kept the directional pad solid. It's not two sides of, you know, eight, eight buttons total. It's, you know, a solid piece. I do like that they did that. Um, not saying that you can't have four buttons do this. It's just so much smoother feeling when it is a solid. And they did a really good job with the feedback on here. Same with these buttons here, even the shoulder buttons. And any smaller than this, kind of like the Game Boy Micro, which I do like, any smaller than this, you do start cramping a little bit more when your fingers are trying to reach around. If you have smaller hands, the Micro in this would be great. But if you don't, yeah, this is just a little bit bigger. It'd be nice. Other than that, I hope you had a good 2019. I hope you have a good 2020. And uh, thanks for watching.